I think that everybody benefits from diversity. Diversity. You know, everyone does. Yes. And so I think that uh, just, and I also think everybody wants it, to be honest. I feel like that has been the thing. And I think that time has kind of sped up in a way uh, in terms of technology and just people being more connected. Mm -hmm. Also, people not being afraid to speak up. And so, and then, and then a lot of people who maybe didn't realize, hey, maybe diversity isn't in this, you know, because things were just the norm. Yeah. So I think that things are happening and I think it's being well received, you know, uh, that's the beauty of it is that I don't sense any resistance. Yes. So, uh, you know, in moving forward, and that's why I said just excited about the future mm-hmm. because these conversations are taking place. These questions are being asked yes. by yes. reporters. Yes. You know, and so uh, I think that we all should be excited about what's to come. Yeah, he's been fantastic. Obviously yeah. brought so much to the care to the part. You know, so much of Joe is weirdly, okay, Joe is way more nerdy than Jamie. Jamie is much cooler. <laughs> Uh, but a lot of the elements of the film of the character were so uh, plussed by him, his sense of energy. He just never stops. He doesn't give up. He's an amazing musician. Of course, he can do the comedy and drama. And we were just very fortunate to be able to, to nab him. Yeah. The biggest challenge for me is always to be able to, to go in the, in the brain of the director and to try to understand what would be what what language we have to build for him and how, how I can combine this with with my experience you know so uh, I think the biggest challenge have, have been also to to try to make the film as a, really like a physical experience for the audience you know uh, and I, and I think for me it's it's try to go out from let's say a more illustrative new way of working but to really go deep in the physicality of sound i you know when we started this journey to make this film we knew i especially knew it would be a film that would be difficult for people to to watch difficult for people to you know, politically even engage with and for it to have done what it's done and for us to be here holding these for a movie as as potent and as as serious uh, as our film is f- from the Academy, I I think it's it's unbelievable. I think it's 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 amazing to think that we could be standing here today holding Oscars for a film about police brutality. I think that's incredible. We just want people to open up and to not be numb to uh, the everyday violence that happens and just for people to take note and to not normalize this behavior. So that was our approach as storytellers and had been all along. too, Too often it just becomes a number and like you said it's just a list of statistics and there's actually behind every one of those numbers there's a soul lost and someone who's no longer here and I think that's why we wanted to just discuss one person's story so we could bring people together to have a conversation um, through understand that these aren't just numbers these are people these are humans